we're talking about photos and I've been decluttering my house with Shannon's help and a lot of help and simplifying and the one thing that's been hard to deal with is my photos and they've been all over the house photo albums you know old people's photos from old family members and so now I've dealt with it and so that's what today's video is about. Yes, it is how you decluttered and organized a lifetime of photos. Yes, it is so. a lifetime. My lifetime and my ancestors' lifetime. I have a several, box. Several, several lifetimes. Yes, several lifetimes of photos. And it all started about a year ago, February 2023. Yes. I have a video where we gathered a yeah. lot of the photo albums and boxes of photos from yeah. upstairs yes. in your guest room. And I remember we set up a table. Yeah, we went through them. We started going through them. Yeah. And I remember you did that for a while on your own too after yes. I left. Yes. And then you told me you were overwhelmed and you yes. needed a break. Yeah, it is. It's overwhelming because they're out of date. They're just random. Uh huh. There's a lot of photos we don't need. So we took photo albums and we pulled out maybe 10 or 20 photos from that photo album, threw the photo album away and just saved those and put them into, we could identify the date, we put them into yeah. baggies and just saved them and then we had those in boxes. It was getting a little crazy yeah. so you took I, a break yeah. and then about three months ago, mm -hmm. January 2024, beginning yeah. of this year, again in a video we gathered everything, all the yes. photos from upstairs your office, everywhere. Yeah. Because I remember you said you wanted them all in one, in one spot. spot. To, to know you weren't getting rid of things that you wanted to keep that you didn't have, yeah. you thought you had somewhere else, but then yeah. you didn't. And so you wanted to see all of it in one yes. spot. In my analytics, I always see that about 75% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed. So if you like this type of content and you're inspired by it, please hit the subscribe button because it really helps my channel. My mom has been in contact with me daily, weekly, <laughs> updating me about this process of going through the photos. Yes. And I would say for the last three months, you've been working on this yes. maybe one or two days a week. Yeah, or sometime so. till late at night once you get into it. It's like, okay, I have to yeah. remember what I'm doing. So it was a process, but I got it down and I finally semi-organized. I'm not all the way there. Um, today we're going to share with you yeah. that process, yes. how you did it. Yes. Okay. The first step was gathering it all in one spot. Yes. And then you said what? You wanted to go through the boxes first. This whole box was full. And about three or four of these little boxes. And Just all the photo albums on top of that. Miscellaneous. The good thing was when we started decluttering upstairs, we did, when we got rid of the albums, we put them by year. So we mm -hmm. were able to at least identify those. I started going digital and saving them on my computer in I think 2004. So before that, that's where they all are of my life. But I really didn't have a lot of photos. I didn't really start taking pictures other than school pictures of myself. When you were younger. Yeah, when we were yeah. younger. I don't have a lot of that. Um, people didn't have cameras back when I was young. It wasn't common. No. Going into the 80s, 90s, a lot of the time you guys would take several rolls of yeah. film for each event we went yeah. to. And that was the step one, was going through picking out yes. those really bad ones and getting rid of those. Yeah. And then I think, I remember you telling me you went through and then you got rid of duplicates. Yeah. And then you got rid of the ones where there were just too many from one event. Yeah, I would have like click, 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 click. So I'd find one that was good, throw the rest away. Mm -hmm. I don't need every movement. And so that so, was the decluttering Yeah, so process. decluttering. So I got each big pack down to just a few photos, just representative of what event it was. And yeah. to remember, I don't need every moment. I went through the big box and pulled everything out. And I started, I had a stack of baggies, the quart size baggies, because a lot of these photos are five by sevens. For some reason, I decided to get duplicates of five by sevens. So these boxes with the perfect size, I would take, I would identify them, I'd go by year. The, all that stuff ended up eventually in two of these bins. Mm -hmm. So it was really whittled down. Also, just to clarify, the whole reason you wanted to go through this was not to become photo free. You still want oh, albums. Yeah. You oh, still yeah. want the physical photos to share with my kids and, yes. and myself. Our, yeah, and yourself and cousins and everybody. Yeah. So 
the whole goal was not to just get rid of all the photos. Right. I couldn't enjoy them before. Yeah. I want now. I'm actually. I'll I'll pick up a book that we printed and I'll look through it. And it's so nice because it's just a few and it, it just brings back lots of good memories. So yeah. that, that's what I want to do. I want to be able to look at them and enjoy them. I, there's a lot of little photo albums here that were of events, places. The whole trip. The whole trip. So I just kept them like that. There's no yeah. reason for me to get rid of those. I was helping my mom and we were searching high and low on the internet and in stores. Yes. And the store websites. We could not find anything we loved. Yeah. But finally we came across this system here, which is actually pretty good, right? Yeah, in the end, is. you're really happy with yeah, it. Uh -huh. And I can link it down below just in case you're interested. But each one of these containers holds however many photos, maybe about a hundred photos. Yeah. And so you have it categorized by year. Yeah, I put, we have a, um, a label maker. My husband has a label maker. Everything has labels on it in the house. Anyway, so that was good. I was able to just put the year on each one, each of these. There's um, 18 of these. Wait, yeah. And these, it was harder to find this one because this one yeah. is for five by seven photos. It's easy to find the ones four by six yeah. if you only have four by sixes. As I would come across loose photos, I could just pick it up and put it in that year. So identify the year. Identify the yeah. year. And this is just a great way to keep everything in order. Yes. And then you at least have an idea of where it is and how to find yeah. it. Yeah. So all those photos got reduced to this bin. And then I went out to Home Goods and found one more bin because I had a couple. Um, I had a couple leftover five by seven packs of photos of, of events, but I wanted to keep them in a bin. And there's a loose pack. I still need to go through. I think that this whole process is ongoing. Yes. I think oh, yes. I, I just have this feeling you're going to keep wanting to go through. It's not and over. And really organize it down to a well, super organized system. Yeah. But well, at least plus this tells me where they, where they came from, what year they are, because I still plan to scan some of these, not mm -hmm. all of them, but important ones. I want to scan them to a file, Kathy's file mm -hmm. photos. When you were young and yeah. stuff, the stuff yeah. that's not online. Yeah. Right, which is a lot of these. Yeah. Like, Ten years of not online. Or so. not on the computer, whatever yeah, you call not, it. Yeah, not digital. So And so I use this We stuff. have an Epson scanner. Yeah, that's what I use. Yeah. That's mine. I have one too. And yeah. we both really love it. Yeah. I got mine about a year ago. Yeah. I have and I love it for scanning all kinds of documents and yeah. things. It's and very simple. You yeah. just have to Easy read the to directions. Use. It's not hard and then you put it onto your computer into a folder and then you could do whatever you can just email your photos to all your friends <laughs> yeah well and how i save my photos on my computer i'm not positive how you do it but i go by year uh -huh. and this is the incoming photos yeah new so ones. new photos coming in i just go by year so let's say 2024 and then within that 2024 folder i have january 2024 yeah. february 2024 oh, and then in that month uh -huh. i label another folder the event so if it was easter oh, christmas okay. and so that way it's easy to find yeah that's a good idea and yeah so i yeah. i just label as much as i can and then um, the more information you put on the folders then you can search your computer yeah, and it's easier idea. to find it yes so. i take all my photos with my phone now and before i even put them on my computer i go through my phone and i eliminate so many photos now mm -hmm. i only save just a few yeah and then I put them on my computer and then I can take them off my phone so I don't have to pay for storage on my phone yeah. your next goal now you told me was to scan now that they're all in order scan yeah. a few photos yes. to make a special book for, for myself yourself yes. of your life yes. and that way you can share it with the kids yeah. and stuff yeah. and, and if and I lose my memory which some people do um, it's good to go back and look at your life they yeah. say that looking at that really helps people and you the nice thing about making a book you're going to use an online service i'm guessing yes that uh -huh. you can type in yeah. the year and maybe a little snippet of yeah, what the these, event was we have these little ones we've done for the kids you can put words underneath them yeah also there's you know the bigger ones yeah 2021 and i am now not printing actual photos but i do a book each year and the nice thing is it's online so if something happens to it i could print it again yeah. or send it to somebody else to print yeah family friends sure yeah so, so that's what i'm doing 
currently for printing photos. Yes. And, and that day. way my boys can look through it and yeah they love they come over here and we pull out the photo albums and they love it yeah that's great grandparents grandparents that and i have somehow i have everybody's birth certificate death certificate all this stuff from all these people but i'm going to scan it and i'm going to upload it to family search because it's an ancestry type thing free and i'm going to put their documents with their faces mm -hmm. so and yes. you've been doing that. I've been doing that. Yeah, I've been so adding. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And yeah. so some of the photos in here are large, right? They're oversized yeah. Yeah. from yeah. weddings and yeah. things. My grandparents' wedding. So it's something that you're going to have to take time yes. to go through. But at least it's all in one. It's in one. Bin, yeah, one. And you know where it is. Yes. I never thought I'd come to this point, but yes, I'm not done. But I, I know where everything is. The cool thing is. It's going to help me in the future yes. because I will have all of this organized yeah. and I'm sure it's going to be handed down to me since I'm yeah. the only <laughs> if you want heir. You, you and the boys. Yeah. And yeah. the nice thing is I will be able to have some information about it too. Yes. I'll know the years. I'll know who these yeah. people were. And someone did say, how come you, would you write um, the names of people on the back of the photo? Have yes, you done I've that? been doing that. I've been yeah. identifying who and what, when. I've been writing it on the photo, and when I scan them, I have to look it up, but I know there's a way of putting um, information into a photo itself. One way my mom and I both like to see our photos is using the Aura digital photo frame. I will link it down below, but this is awesome because as soon as you take a photo on your phone, you can put it digitally onto this frame immediately. She can actually upload photos from her phone to my frame at my house, and I can do the same to the frame at her house. So this is an awesome way to enjoy your photos all the time in real time, and I will link to this in the description box in case you're interested, but this is something we both love, and I actually gave her this for her birthday and then she gave me mine for Mother's Day. So it was just such a great gift and we both love it. My mom wrote out three pages of notes about this process. Oh, when you're going through the photos, I found what got me, took a lot of time, is you go down the rabbit hole, you look at the photos and you have the memories and you mm -hmm. look up the next photo and what about that person? So that's that get, that slows you down yeah and then i also decided that i'm going to print a book of the ancestors for all the family members because i'm the only one left that really can do it yeah. and in hearing stories about my great grandparents i have that in my head so i need to write it down while i remember about them yeah. and, and people usually don't care about ancestors till they're at least 50 years old young people i mean i find it interesting yeah. to know yeah, but I'm getting I'm getting closer and closer to 50 years old here. So, <laughs> but also um, life was so different back then. I yeah. love to ask them what was different. You know, like, did you ride a horse instead of there were no cars? You know yeah. that kind of stuff. So it's really interesting. Just we just had a family party, and I remember there were a lot of photos that you didn't want anymore, oh, yeah. but they were of the cousins, yes. aunts, uncles, and so my mom brought all yeah. these photos to yeah. the party. And it was so fun. Everyone looked through them. Oh, I know. They and we loved were it. talking about old memories. Yeah, that, you and your cousins when yeah. you were really little. So. And it was fun to go through them, and then they got to take them home because yeah. you have duplicates or you just yeah, don't need so many. Yeah, don't get discouraged because yeah. it's not easy. Yeah. You have to be in the mood. You have to have time. You have to have space to lay things out. And even if you only get a little bit done, have your starting bins that are a big mess and have your finished bins put things in and then you'll know that how far mm -hmm. you've gotten. So don't get discouraged, that's all I have to say. Yeah, just keep going. Keep going. As I always say with every decluttering project, it's just <laughs> it's slow and steady and that's what gets it done. Yeah. If you're just getting started on your decluttering journey, I do have an ebook, so I will link that down below with some more information. Definitely good job. Thank you. And thank you Yay. for sharing with everybody Yay. online. Hopefully it will inspire you guys and We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.